So you notice his like basic stance, that was cool. It's like this mod style we call it. You'll see that the wooden dummy. And it's just kind of like your hands are always ready to react in Wing Chun. Um, he comes behind him, be a strike with an elbow. Boom, and then he ends up like taking him down like that. Hey everybody, if you're new, my name is Philip. I'm an actor, filmmaker, and martial artist. I'm a Wing Chun expert. You may have seen my popular documentary, The 14 Extreme Trainings of Shaolin Warrior Monks, where I live as a monk in China and got to train many martial arts, one of which was Wing Chun. I also made a short film with the Warrior Monks. My new fight scene with the Masters of the Temple, so check it out. Today we're going to be watching and reacting to the Tekken 8 Leroy Smith trailer where he does Kung Fu, he does Wing Chun. And let's just see how accurate the Wing Chun is in Tekken. It's gonna be really fun. I'm here with Sam, my oldest friend, but he also has an experience in Kung Fu and we trained together in the past. All right, here we go. Leroy Jenkins, let's see what the, er, Leroy Jenkins, hold on. Oh man, so you, you like Tekken, right? Yeah, yeah, I played like 15 years ago. It's been a minute. Awesome, man, yeah. This is gonna wanna bring me back. Definitely, man, yeah. Okay, Times Square. I'd like to see it. Oh yeah. You got the doggo too, which is really cool. Time to take out the trash. Oh, okay, right into the Monsau position, love that. Get ready for the He's got that step. one. Grandmaster of Drift. Yeah. All right, we like that. Yeah. Oh, and he's doing the wooden dummy right off the bat. Awesome. That's the second section of the wooden dummy. It looks like blended with the third section as well. All right, hey, let's pause it right there. We saw him doing the dummy, which we actually have one right here. How convenient. We're in the second section of the dummy where you go. And he was doing that cool sort of transition between here and the punch on both sides, which is really nice. To come over and finish up. Awesome, it's good to see. So they really doing the research here. Oh yeah. Okay, awesome. So he's doing like some spin kicks and stuff, which do do exist in Wing Chun, but not in the way that a lot of people think. There's a little sweep in there, some chain punches. Love to see it. I like that backflip and then just gets there. Awesome. Oh man, chain punch against the police car. That was awesome, man. Alright. You got the cane now, very cool. I like how he does like a lot of you know legit poses in there too. Chain punch to the elbow straight, very nice. Oh man, <laughs> he's just launching it. Oh he did the Yeah, very cool. Oh yeah, he's lighting him up. Great combo to do. Hey, he looks fun to play too. Yeah. yeah. They use someone in like a tracking suit to see all these moves. I'm assuming, yeah, because it looks legit. Oh, that was cool. He did the stance setup, chain punch, the elbow. That was really cool. One inch punch. Classic. Bruce Lee reference. And there he is. He goes into that cool Donnie Yen stance. Love it. That was great. That was fantastic. First of all, Tekken 8. Absolutely killed it with it. This is amazing. Uh, there was definitely like some sensational stuff that they added, kind of like axe kicks and whatnot for Wing Chun, which generally there isn't in the system. But like largely, it was it was a lot of Wing Chun stuff. So you notice his like basic stance that was cool. It's like this mod style we call. It's kind of just like reactive stance. You'll see that the wooden dummy when people start it starts in this stance, and it's just kind of like your hands are always ready to react in Wing Chun. Um, when you make a fist, it's usually like when you're connecting with the strike. Otherwise, you're kind of like ready. You want to be able to react and kind of receive what's happening and then going for the strike. You'll see Bruce Lee do it in the, in the famous kind of stance like this when he does uh, Pak Sao. And I think he does this a lot in there actually, Pak Sao, where he kind of goes and comes in with the strike. He also does like a double punch at one point, which I really liked, where he goes boom with both fists, which is awesome. As a technique that I learned like pretty late into the system because it comes more into like the third form, which is like these big arcing movements and the footwork comes like kind of like circular. Boom! Stuff like that. So it's awesome to see that in there. I was thinking of the sequencing between the fights, like when you pick a character and how you like 
chain your moves together. Mm -hmm. and with Wing Chun, that's going to be awesome to see in a character. Yeah. Just piecing together what you love or being able to do. Yeah, like, like combos and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's something that's going to make me want to play as this character for sure. Definitely. That's what we were saying. Like, he looks fun. Yeah. He looks really fun. Maybe use <laughs> oh. the dog as a finisher move as well. So yeah, the dog really being in there. there. He was in the celebration. You got to pull him in. You yeah. Pull the dog in. He was in the victory pose. That's promising. Yeah. Uh, another thing I noticed is they did the takedown, which was really cool. And it's like he comes behind him like that, which you know could already be a strike with an elbow or to kind of just like grab his head. And then what happens is he does some variation of this. It's like pretty common in a lot of the martial arts where there's a lot of like stomping in Wing Chun. You know, I won't do that to, you know, disrespect Sam like that. <laughs> if I'll just step here instead, boom. And then he ends up like taking him down like that. In reality, you'd want to like slam his head on the ground. He does something similar to that and then follows up with a strike. So that was a cool, <laughs> that was a cool thing to include for sure. Oh yeah, he did a vertical elbow, which is really cool. A lot of the horizontal stuff in that trailer, but at one point he did actually come in with the, the vertical, which can come from below or of course over the top like that. You'll see in the third form, like this kind of like arcing bah, technique, which is really cool. How do you generate a ton of power from like this close? Well, you can pull their head in too, right? Boom. So it's like twice the power as you strike. Devastating stuff. There's mm -hmm. also the um, the moving faster than your opponent. Yeah, that was an awesome shot. Like I love able that. To just hit him as he's coming. Yeah, in. it was so cool. It was like if I'm the opponent, it was like yeah. he like just outpaced him. And then got him right in the center. <laughs> yeah, so. and that was cool too. Like center line mm -hmm. is a big concept in Wing Chun, just to like showcase it for one second. If Sam is punching like slow motion, and like I take the center line, it would be like I cut in like this, and then see how he's not gonna hit me, but I'm gonna hit him. Like that's a basic explanation of it. It's essentially like taking the opponent's center of gravity. And then if he was to keep going, like I hit him and he misses me. So it was awesome to see that like he's striking the center line every time. Like that was a good attention to detail. I'm really curious, like you said, who is like the mocap <laughs> actor business? Somebody really like he was doing, you know, the, yeah. the setup for. It was definitely on a dummy when he was doing the dummy. That definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was a reference to, um, to this part of the form as well. Where he does that and then ends up like going to each side. And that brings me to the other thing I remembered. He actually does do this move to somebody and like send it flying. And that was really cool. And just like you saw me do it on the dummy, it would be something like, you know, if there's a punch here, boom. And then I can kind of like set up for these moves to get inside and then push it to his rib cage, which is not a nice thing. And then of course the face and just chuck him like that. And then he did a ton of kicks. Uh, a lot of them were like very sensationalized, again, totally understandable, but he did do a couple kind of just like Wing Chun kicks, which you have to pretend this is like the kneecap on the dome. There's a lot of stuff where we go like in the form. Brutal, brutal stuff in the shin, of course. Shin kicks for like something up here and then the knee. Um, really interesting. And the groin, of course, which I think he might do in that trick. <laughs> so. It's really cool to be able to go for like their body like this, to be able to pick off different parts of the body up close and kind of like attack the hips, attack the knees, attack the ankles. And it's just these like brutal kind of inner, inner things. And they'll be like kind of grabbing and trapping with the feet and stuff like that. And just, and the reason they had to kind of make it bigger and a little bit more easy to, to see and everything is a lot of Wing Chun is like very tight, close quarters moves. And like for a fighting game, when everybody's doing like flips and all this crazy stuff, it's like you're playing on a small screen maybe. Like it's not really ideal to have everything super tight for the choreography. We gotta add a little bit. Let's talk about some of the moves he does. So the chain punch is like kind of everybody's favorite kind of like signature. You see Donnie Yen doing it in all the Yip Man movies. We do something like that. Follow up with an elbow and then like. Um, the thing about the chain punch that my personal thoughts are, you want to treat it more like a finishing move. Like the hammer punch we see people do in UFC. You really want to use the chain punch as like a finisher. If someone's like down on the ground, he does that in the trailer. He actually knocks him. I think it was part of like his super or something, but the guy was down and he was kind of like angled down doing some moves. That was awesome. I thought it was great. What do you think? Like general thoughts? I mean, it's a solid finisher move, as you said, and I think that's yeah. probably what they're going to play into it on. Um, yeah, it seemed like it. That's cool. I also like yeah. with the arcing and flashing, it kind of helps show the way the movement, yeah. the legs and the arms are actually going. Because totally. like you mm -hmm. said, it's hard to see Wing Chun move so yeah. fast. 
Um, so yeah, totally. Totally, totally and there would probably be some like Wing Chun expert, you know, uh, experts who, <laughs> you know, masters who would be, uh, you know, this is garbage. This is well inaccurate. And again, they just like, you know, yeah, obviously it's a video game. It's got to look easy to tell moves and everything. And I loved how there are some, you know, kind of like bigger movements in Wing Chun with elbows and everything like that. And you can see how they, like you said, the kind of arcing colors and stuff. He does a lot of elbow strikes, mm -hmm. like at the end of a chain punch, which is like, that's great. That's a really good combo to do. And uh, it's it kind of gives a sense of, of a large movement because, you know, the, the whole like building power from a short distance is not, it's very hard to show the power in like a video game when everybody's doing like these massive <laughs> attacks across the whole screen. I don't know if I saw a lot of trapping. I'm gonna have to watch it again. Like a lot of kind of like, when we yeah. say trapping, it would be something like if his hand is here, I'm gonna go like this and then like punch him like that and strike him. I don't know if I saw too much of that because it's probably hard to do with animations. Like the other fighters just doing their move. You can't really like move their arm. Thank you so much, Sam. Yeah, of course. So fun to do a video again together. Um, and thank you guys. Make sure to sub if you're new. But yeah, thank you everybody. <laughs> um, I loved it. Tekken knocked it out of the park. Absolutely amazing. Um, I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play as a Wing Chun character. Definitely never done that in a game. And uh, it's gonna be good. So you guys the best. Check out my documentary. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can see my competition from China and my new fight scene with the Masters of the Temple. So check it out. I'll see you guys around town.